mentira, se siente, no lo van a negar que se siente. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Classified Captures. Expect to be thrilled, excited, and a little scared, even a bit, by some of today's clips. Without wasting too much of your precious time, let's jump right into it. In the boundless sky above, a pilot aboard an aircraft becomes witness to a mesmerizing display of atmospheric phenomena. As the craft floats above the clouds, the pilot notices a peculiar light show unfolding beneath. Lightning-like flashes illuminate the clouds, and a mysterious beam of light pierces through from below. I know what you're thinking, alien beam, but believe it or not, this rare and captivating spectacle is known as sprites or blue jets. It's a phenomenon where electrical discharges travel from the ground to the sky, usually during thunderstorms. Unlike the more commonly observed downward lighting, which originates in clouds and strikes the ground, upward lighting starts at the surface, typically above large thunderstorms traveling upwards. These phenomena were only discovered and confirmed relatively recently, and their elusive nature makes them difficult to observe. Pilots flying above thunderstorms or satellites positioned above the Earth's atmosphere are most likely to observe and capture such rare moments. At least, that's what Julius said. What do you think? Check out this rather peculiar scene. Yes, those are turtles, and someone's diligently digging them out. Now, you might be wondering, what's the story behind this unusual turtle excavation? Turns out, some turtle species are known to hibernate. The narrative is, these guys are trying to ensure their well-being during this slumberous state. According to them, it's like tucking them into a cozy bed in the earth, providing a safe and insulated space for their hibernation. Well, personally, I don't buy it. It looks like someone's gathering resources for dinner. Now, the next question is, why do they hibernate? In the wild, some species of turtles hibernate during the colder months to conserve energy when food is scarce. They may bury themselves in soil, mud, or leaf litter to protect themselves from extreme temperatures. Nature's ways can be a fascinating sight, don't you think? Next, we have a mysterious encounter in the lush landscapes of Indonesia. These strange people were covered in a black substance with animal fur adorning their heads and cascading down their backs. Adding an eerie touch, these enigmatic beings are known for emitting strange, haunting screams into the air. But who or what could they be? Enter the paranormal speculators. Some think they might be mischievous children dressed up and engaging in elaborate pranks on unsuspecting residents. I mean, when you think about it, it's something children would do. On the flip side, a more mystical interpretation takes root. Some members of the paranormal community suggest that these peculiar beings are forest guardians wandering through the woodlands. To be fair, in folklore and local legends, tales of guardians or spirits inhabiting nature's spaces are not uncommon. The black substance and fur might symbolize a connection to the earth and the creatures within it. But perhaps this is just Aaron's paranormal ideologies rubbing off on me. What's your take on this mysterious scenario? A case of mischievous youngsters or perhaps encounters with mystical guardians of the forest? Kindly let us know what you think in the comments section. While walking through the wilderness, a man hears these strange purrs coming from a cave. Oh, 
As curiosity beckons, the intrepid explorer gets closer and spots a creature with glowing eyes peering from an opening in the cave. Now, there seems to be no visible entrance to the cave, so how did the creature find its way in? And more importantly, what kind of creature are we dealing with here? Some suggest it might be a mountain lion, a known inhabitant of caves and remote areas. I mean, these creatures are known for their elusive behavior, and their reflective eyes in low-light conditions could create the appearance of glowing eyes like we see in the footage. There are others, however, who entertain the idea that something far more sinister might be afoot, perhaps a mystical creature hiding in the cave. Having seen it, what do you think? Esto es real o esto es puesto ahí? Esto es esto es real, es real, natural. Podemos mirar. Sí, claro. Now feast your eyes on this man sporting what appears to be silver hair, or dare we say it, fur cascading from his shoulders down his back. Believe it or not, this is natural. In the realm of unique conditions, this falls under the purview of hypertrichosis, often colloquially referred to as werewolf syndrome. Hypertrichosis involves excessive hair growth in areas where terminal hair doesn't typically make an appearance. It comes in both congenital, present at birth, and acquired forms. Nature's quirks can take on various forms, and this silver-haired individual is living proof. Do tell me, werewolf enthusiasts, is this a condition you wish you had? Ah, mira todo esto, wey. Oiga, se siente, no lo van a negar que se siente, verdad, como... Ah, the everyday chore of bathroom scrubbing. God, my mum knows how much I hate that. Anyway, instead of the usual everyday routine, this one unveils something rather perplexing. <laughs> While diligently scrubbing away, the individual, whom we will call Scrubby, noticed a strange phenomenon unfolding with the foam on the ground. Instead of the usual randomness, the foam arranged itself in a circle, forming a captivating spiral. I kid you not. Oh, wait, well, you can see it too, can't you? Now the plot thickens, the person ceased scrubbing, and there appears to be no external force at play. How on earth is this peculiar spiral of foam materializing on its own? It's a head-scratcher indeed. What's your take on this bathroom mystery? A playful trick of foam physics, or perhaps a sign of something more mystical? Now, what do we have here? This sushi appears to be having a mind of its own. <laughs> the filleted fish is moving on its own. Someone I know saw this and shouted, Possessed! The only thing that possesses, however, is beauty. That's if you can at least get past the whole unlived fish thing. So, is this fish possessed? Well, no. In many cases, this occurrence can be attributed to a phenomenon known as post-mortem twitching or nerve firing. Even after a fish is filleted, gutted, and prepared for consumption, there can be residual nerve activity that causes muscles to twitch or spasm. This doesn't necessarily indicate that the fish was alive at the time of serving. It's a natural response resulting from the remaining electrical activity in the fish's nerve cells. Well, that's what Julius said anyway, and well, I guess I gotta believe him. Ah, the mysteries beneath the surface. Now look at this curious sight. Something stirring underground, causing the concrete ground to yield and create a noticeable hole. A peculiar phenomenon indeed. As the ground shifts and the concrete is pushed up and out, one might find themselves pondering. Do these movements resemble arms, gently but assertively pushing against the constraints of the concrete? You know what? Perhaps I should take your opinions. 
What are your thoughts on this underground enigma, a natural occurrence or perhaps a playful illusion sparked by the dance of subterranean forces? Share your thoughts. If you haven't already hit that like button, subscribed, or even dropped a comment so far, could you please do so now? It goes a long way to help us make more of these videos for you. Thank you so much. Now back to the day's episode. In the wilds of British Columbia, a man finds himself face to face with a creature that's known to exist only in legends. In the captured footage, the creature peers cautiously from behind the trees, revealing a dark face adorned with black fur. Looking at the footage, I guess we all know who the big guy is. Yes, you thought right, the legendary Sasquatch. Sasquatch lore is characterized by tales of large, hairy, ape-like beings that are said to inhabit remote wilderness areas. While there have been numerous reported sightings and anecdotal evidence, the existence of Sasquatch remains a mystery. You'd think with all our advanced tech, we'd have found them by now. Once the footage popped up online, though, many believed we may be dealing with an ape instead. What do you think? This next one is from America. A woman turns her gaze skyward to capture the dance of a peculiar light. What unfolds is a sight that leaves one intrigued, a light resembling fire gracefully traversing the heavens. Yet as the primary light fades into obscurity, a smaller companion emerges, continuing the celestial spectacle. Now the question lingers. Was this an encounter with an otherworldly UFO, or perhaps a captivating play of holographic imagery in the night sky? Take a look at this. Looks strange, doesn't it? It's like a mix between the Hulk and the Devil. His strange-looking green face, however, is nothing more than a praying mantis. The praying mantis, with its unique and captivating appearance, truly stands out in the realms of insects. One of its intriguing behaviors involves the use of its forewings to create a startling display. When faced with threats, a mantis may theatrically open its wings, revealing eye-like patterns on the undersides. A remarkable tactic to intimidate potential predators. Not only does the mantis employ this defense mechanism, but the males also showcase their wings to communicate with potential mates. These visual signals play a crucial role in attracting female mantises during the intricate dance of courtship. Would you want one of these as a pet? Is it even safe? Share your thoughts. Take a look at this door that was seen at the top of a cliff. Some say this could be a World War II bunker. While we have no way of confirming it, this theory could be correct. World War II bunkers were strategically positioned in various locations for defense purposes, and their survival over the decades often tells a story of resilience against the elements. In this case, the erosion of the cliff has revealed the bunker door, creating a surreal and almost surrealistic scene. The erosion of landscapes can occur due to a combination of factors, including weathering, wind, water, and geological processes. Over time, these forces can shape and alter the contours of the land, uncovering hidden structures and artifacts. This next one's an unusual one, but do enjoy it. Yup, that's a person with their mouth wide open. I'm talking wider than your regular human jaw stretch. Now the big question, how on earth is this happening? Some might throw around the idea of shape-shifting reptilian people, you know, the conspiracy theory stuff. Maybe this person isn't fully human, so stretching the mouth like that is a walk in the park for them. Or hey, could it be some super stretchy mouth skin they were born with? The possibilities are out there, but here's the thing. Well, who knows, right? Take a look at that. 
These large birds look like they belong in the dinosaur era. Well, they actually don't, and you could see one today if you wanted. They are what we call Andean condor. The Andean condor is one of the largest flying birds in the world. It has a massive wingspan that can reach up to 10 feet, 3 meters or more. Andean condors are native to South America and are found in the Andes, a mountain range. Despite their large size, Andean condors are skilled flyers. They utilize thermal air currents to soar at high altitudes, covering vast distances in search of food. Like all vultures, they are scavengers and primarily feed on carrion. While the Andean condor is not considered extinct, it faces conservation challenges. Threats include habitat loss, poisoning from ingesting lead from ammunition, and illegal hunting. Oh, humans, when will we ever learn to leave nature alone? Our next footage was taken by a ring doorbell camera. From the footage, you can clearly tell that it's nighttime and the rain seems to be pouring pretty heavily. A closer look and you'll realize that there's something strange about this. There in the sky is this ball of light. It doesn't look like your regular star and it's definitely too high to be your normal street light. Simply put, it doesn't look like any of the celestial bodies we're used to. Instead, it just hovers there mysteriously, blinking in a pattern like a guiding light in the dark. What are we looking at here? Could it be some far-off space object trying to send a subtle message on this rainy night? Or maybe it's a rare weather event causing optical illusions, making it seem like something it's not to the person watching. Take a look at this disturbing footage taken on a train. Here, you can hear this loud sound coming from the train with accompanying sparks. They appear to be coming from the train. But in a few seconds, a loud sound is heard as the other side of the train sparks fire, startling everyone. Now, what's causing this chaos? One theory is that the train might be going through a tunnel that's a tad too small for its liking, scraping against the walls and creating those sparks. Another possibility is that the train itself might be having a bad day. You know, some technical hiccups. At the start of the clip, notice how the guys sitting down seem unfazed by the noise and others on the opposite side are also keeping their cool until there's a loud sound and bright light flash from outside the train. It's almost as if they're used to this situation, meaning the second theory might be correct. What do you think? An Indian Army personnel was patrolling with his dog in the mountains when he came across a yogi. A yogi was half naked and was holding a stick in his hand, despite the freezing cold with snow everywhere. It was pretty shocking to see this half naked man in such conditions, and he appeared unfazed by the cold. When he reached the edge of the mountain, he started to roll downwards in the snow in a descent. <laughs> I'm tempted to laugh, but uh, I won't. Is there an Indian who could explain what's going on to us? I'd greatly appreciate it. His name is my first watch, it's an asteroid, they call it from. This watchmaker in Argentina is doing something pretty cool. Imagine a watch that doesn't look like your typical shiny thing, but more like a rock. And get this, it's not just any rock. It's made from an asteroid that literally fell from the sky and landed in Argentina. While some folks are all about showing off their diamonds and fancy watches, this watch takes the cake. <laughs> We're talking about a watch with a piece of outer space on your wrist. It's not just a timepiece, it's like wearing a chunk of the universe while keeping tabs on the time. So what do you think? Would you ever consider rocking this rock on your wrist? Whew. 
Whoa, check out this guy. He's doing some seriously bizarre stuff with his body. First off, he's pulling at the skin on his forehead and it's like taffy just stretching away. That's a bit odd, right? But hold on, it gets weirder. He goes on to shift his Adam's apple. <laughs> I mean, who does that? That's not your everyday talent. Then he's stretching his arms in ways that seem way too flexible. And then to top it off, he bends his finger backwards to touch the back of his hand. Now, that's not how fingers are supposed to bend. Now, here's the mystery. Is this some kind of medical condition, or could he be one of those rumored hybrid humans? It's kind of disturbing messing with the norms of human anatomy like that. What's going on with this guy's body? Up in the clouds, someone filmed this strange figure. Now, the question is, are we witnessing the real-life BFG, or is this some crazy optical illusion? Sometimes the way clouds look, the lighting, and how the camera is positioned can make things seem off. There's this thing called pareidolia, which is when our brains try to find familiar shapes or patterns in random stuff. It's like seeing faces in clouds or shapes in abstract art. Our brains just like making sense of things, even when it's not really there. This could be the case in this footage, but then who's to say that that is also not a real giant? What are your thoughts? Could there really be giants hanging out in the clouds, or is it just the universe's way of messing with our heads? Extreme body modifications such as tattooing the entire body or undergoing procedures to resemble animals are indeed a form of self-expression that can be perceived as unconventional and even shocking. In this case, we have a person with his back inked like a snake. I mean, talk about commitment to the extreme. It's like they decided regular tattoos weren't cutting it. So why not turn the entire back into a slithering serpent canvas? Freaky doesn't even begin to describe it. But hey, each to their own, right? Beauty and body modifications come in all sorts of flavors. Some might find it intriguing, while others might find it a tad too freaky. A resident in Virginia stumbled upon something quite unexpected, an Egyptian railway train. Yeah, you heard that right. This is an Egyptian railway train. Now, I'm no geography expert, but last time I checked, Virginia and Egypt weren't exactly next-door neighbors. So how in the world did an Egyptian train make its way to Virginia? Did it take a wrong turn and hop on a magical track to end up halfway across the globe? One plausible explanation could be that the train in question is a replica or a theme-based attraction rather than the actual operational Egyptian railway train. Another possibility is that the train components were transported to the United States for exhibition or display. But these are just speculations since no context was given to the situation. But what do you think could be going on here? Really long. It goes on and on and on here at Norfolk Southern Railways. You might want to buckle up for this one. Imagine you're chilling in your backyard and out of nowhere, something falls from the sky. You go check it out and voila, it's this device with solar panels on it. And atop it off, it's got the words space selfie written on it. Now, that's not your everyday backyard discovery. Curiosity kicks in, right? So after a bit of research, it turns out that this thing is called a Samsung Space Selfie. And get this, it happened back in 2019. Yeah, a whole Space Selfie dropped into someone's backyard. How wild is that? The Samsung Space Selfie involved sending a device with solar panels into the stratosphere to capture a space selfie. The concept was a marketing stunt to promote the Samsung Galaxy S10 5G smartphone. This device, equipped with cameras, took pictures against the backdrop of the Earth and space. During the event, Samsung launched the device into the stratosphere using a high-altitude balloon. People could submit their selfies, and the selected images were then displayed on the device's screen as it floated in the stratosphere. Participants received a link to a video showing their selfies with the curvature of the Earth in the background. 
Seems the people who found this device had no clue and were pretty shocked. I would do it if it was me. Now this is strange. On a chicken farm, one of the workers spotted this strange looking chicken. It had the body of a chicken, but its head looked like a dog with ears and all. How is this even possible? Now, I'm not an expert in genetics, but as far as I know, chickens and dogs weren't exactly swapping body parts for fun. Are we witnessing some kind of secret hybrid experiment gone wrong, or is this just Mother Nature having a quirky day? I'm genuinely curious. Would you be more intrigued or terrified to come across a chicken with a dog's head on your farm? For our next clip, we travel back in time to 1994 for footage not many have seen. Take a look. Yep, that's a man in the woods alone with a Bigfoot. The exact location is near Deduct Spring in the Blue Mountain Range in Oregon. You can tell from his heavy breathing that the man's very anxious and perhaps even scared. His shaky hands make it hard to tell what he's scared of, but a few seconds into the footage and it becomes apparent. There's a giant a few meters away from him with a human-like gait, yet having an ape-like body. Its arms are unusually large and it walks as though it was very heavy. It looks like it could really cause some damage to the man if it wanted to, which explains his heavy breathing, but for some odd reason the creature isn't interested in him. The man recording the footage believes it's a Bigfoot, and I'm tempted to say I do believe him. I mean, how else do we explain what we're seeing here? Bear in mind that this is 1994 and CGI and special effects were not as popular as they are today. Unless, of course, that's a man in a suit. But that's least likely if you ask me. What do you think, though? Before I say anything about this particular one, watch the footage. One, two, three, four. I don't see the thumb. There's a, there is a print right here that shouldn't be there. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you what this thing did. You can pick it up barely right that's now. A, that's a left-hand print. That's the kitchen. So yeah. the interesting part about yeah. these windows, these were the only two windows in the entire home that you could see through the curtain. We changed they, those, she changed those curtains yesterday. They, this thing was peeking in to see what y'all were doing. That's the only, that's the only there, window he could see. Was, it was peeking in to see what you were doing. Yup, you heard what you heard. The man in the bluish shirt lives in the home you just saw. According to him, their time in the house was interrupted by a giant furry creature that appears to be looking into their home. The man in red came over to carry out some friendly neighborhood forensics and concluded that they indeed had been visited by a Bigfoot. He points to handprints on the window, which we can't see, but just imagine being in your home and seeing a giant ape-like creature staring into your room. I can't imagine what it would feel like. Some people in the comments section are convinced that the Bigfoot was only curious, while some thought it was only there because it was hungry and could smell something nice from the kitchen. Others, however, don't share that enthusiasm. They think he was there to plan his attack. It's hard for us to believe a Bigfoot would do that, though. It's out of its character. But what do you think about the whole thing? Were the men telling the truth or simply looking for fame? Share your thoughts with us. Our next clip is from a similar encounter that occurred in Cape Town. A group of men were on the top of a building where they noticed this strange green light glowing behind the clouds. The big question lingers. What's the deal with these mysterious lights? Are they just a quirk of nature, or could there be something more clandestine unfolding above our heads, unbeknownst to us? As we ponder the possibilities, it's worth considering whether these lights are part of a natural phenomenon or if there's a hidden layer to this story. What's your take on the matter? Do you think it's just another cosmic spectacle, or could there be more to these strange lights than meets the eye? 
Now, shifting gears to yet another peculiar piece of footage, brace yourself for the unusual. In this video, we can see an individual showcasing some seriously strange hand maneuvers. I mean, we're talking about fingers that can contort and crook in a way that defies the norm. Take a look for yourself. This person has this uncanny ability to turn their entire palm backward. It's not your everyday hand trick, that's for sure. Speculation arises as to whether this unique ability is a result of a genetic mutation, an unusual anatomical condition, or perhaps an acquired skill through dedicated practice and flexibility training. While some may view this as an oddity or an intriguing anomaly, others may appreciate it as a testament to the wondrous variations that can exist within the human form. Next, we have another trail cam footage taken from a remote woodland area. We've no idea what we're looking at. Perhaps you could help. Did you see it? Watch again. You see it, don't you? There's quick movement from the right side of the frame to the left. The camera's position is quite the distance from the moving object, but whatever it is, it's quite fast. We attempted zooming in to perhaps discover what the moving object is, and this is what we saw. You see it too, don't you? There's no being in it. It just looks like moving fog and smoke, but how's that even possible, especially at that speed? Could it be a paranormal creature? Could it be the result of zooming in the low-quality image? Or could the footage be edited? Share your thoughts with us. We'd love to hear it. Next, we have a trail cam capture of a creature that looks like a grasshopper, but it's the size of a man. Did you see it? In the first capture, we see its face, and in the second, we see the rest of its body. My team and I almost discarded the footage because we thought it was a regular grasshopper caught on a trail camera. After a second look, and we realized that the creature was actually the size of a man. I mean, take a look at the trees in the background. Do you see its size correlation with the creature? It's definitely the size of a man, if not bigger. We cross-checked our database of paranormal and otherworldly creatures and couldn't find anything remotely like this creature. Could it be a new creature that's yet to be documented, or are we simply looking at a computer-generated image? Share your thoughts with us. A trail camera captured this scary image in the woods in the middle of the night. In the image, we can see a pale, hairless creature. Its arms look emaciated, and it has a pair of eerie, glowing eyes as it stares intently at the camera. It looks almost as if the creature is looking into my soul. Now, what we have here, according to the paranormal community, is a creature known as a rake. The rake, often depicted as a humanoid creature with unsettling features, has become part of paranormal lore. Some swear they exist, sharing stories of encounters that defy explanation. Others argue that the rake is merely a product of imagination, a creature born from the collective fear of the unknown. As the debate rages on, the image captured by the trail camera adds fuel to the speculation. Is this a genuine glimpse into the mysterious world of the rake, or could there be a more mundane explanation for the eerie figure in the woods? Next, picture yourself on a serene hike surrounded by nature's beauty when an eerie feeling creeps over you as if someone or something is watching. When you turn around, your eyes lock onto a dark figure standing by a tree staring right back at you. The owner of the footage did not get a good look at the creature since it was getting dark, but upon closer examination, the shape of the head, its substantial size, and the broadness of its shoulders suggest that what they might have stumbled upon is none other than the elusive Bigfoot. Do you believe it could be a genuine sighting of a Bigfoot, or a trick of the fading light, or perhaps something else entirely?
Now let's step into the paranormal and mysterious. Take a look at this trail cam capture. Do you see the creature in the capture? It looks like some type of ape, doesn't it? But take a closer look. You'll realize its body proportions are definitely not the same as any known ape. What's more, there's something funny going on with its face. Despite the blurry nature of the footage, the uploader believes the creature is holding a baby close to its face. My team and I struggle to see that, but can you? If you can, please do share in the comments section. As remarkable as that is, that's not what makes this capture special. The image was taken in Florida, and the uploader believes it's a capture of none other than the skunk ape. For those unfamiliar with the skunk ape, think of it as a version of Bigfoot that lives in the swamps. With that said, what do you think? Could this really be a skunk ape, or is this whole thing merely an exaggeration? Share your thoughts with us. Speaking of creatures we have a hard time identifying, a subscriber of the channel sent this capture in. He believes it's a paranormal creature haunting his property. We've critically looked at the image for several days and can't seem to make out what it really is. A team member says he believes we're looking at a hog, but I personally don't see anything of interest or worry in the capture. Do you? Next, we have this odd-looking capture from a trail cam located deep in the woods. Did you see it? Does it look like a normal capture you'd expect from a trail cam? It's certainly not. The owner of the trail cam was surprised that the image came out like this on his trail cam since it not added any effects to the image and the device itself was not faulty in any way and captured high-definition images. A closer look at the tape and you'll realize that it looks like a bear or some other type of canine. The bears don't turn camera images white. What then could be going on in the image? Are we dealing with a being from another dimension? Could it be an alien that ran some interference with the camera to delete footage it may have captured of itself, or is the uploader of the image simply lying? Share your thoughts with us in the comment section, we'd love to hear them. Well, come out so I can see you. Come out. Come on. Yup, that happened. Someone sent this in stating it was an encounter with a spirit being in the forest. Two decades ago, we might have believed this with the Lord of the Rings craze going about back then. Ah, good times. Anyway, it's hard to believe that there's actually a spirit in there communicating with the man. I mean, I love the paranormal, but this is as fake as some of the footage can come. What do you guys think? Well, come out so I can see you! Next, we have a tale unfolding in the quiet of a night ride through a park in Vietnam. A bike rider and his son enjoying the evening breeze. But hold on, things take a sudden turn when they spot what initially seems like a mere light in the sky. Little did they know it was about to become one of the strangest phenomena to grace their night. The lights appeared to originate from something behind the clouds. People speculated about the source. Could it be some intentional light beaming skyward? Yet, as they scanned the surroundings, no evidence of such activity revealed itself. And here's the twist. As they observed, a smaller object emerged from beneath the mysterious light. This left some folks convinced that this could be the elusive alien mothership lurking just beyond the veil of clouds. But what's your take on this? If you haven't already hit the like button, subscribed, or even dropped a comment so far, could you please do so now? It goes a long way to help us make more videos like this for you. Thank you very much. Now, back to today's episode. Next, we have this footage that was sent to us from another subscriber. He was very sure that his trail camera had captured a skinwalker, but instead of talking about it, perhaps I should let you see it. 
It's not always that you see a deer stand on its hind legs. Seeing the deer stand on its hind legs right in front of the camera made the individual who sent it in think it was a skinwalker playing with him. Based on my little knowledge of deer, however, I know that that's definitely not a skinwalker. Deer can stand on their hind legs when they need to reach food from higher heights, which is what I think is going on here. But I could be wrong. Of all the things a skinwalker could do in front of a trail camera, why would it stand on its hind legs? But those are just my thoughts. What do you think? Still on the paranormal, take a look at this image capture. We know trail cams capture a lot of weird and interesting stuff, but what is that? The individual whose trail camera captured this image is unsure of what it is. Some individuals online told him it might be frost on the camera. I don't know much about that, but this looks like a cobweb of some sort. Some in the paranormal community, however, believe that his camera may have captured something paranormal. The challenge, however, is the fact that we can't tell what it captured. What do you think of his hypothesis, though? Could this merely be frost on the lens as suggested, or are we dealing with something paranormal here? Have you had such an experience, or can you explain what we're seeing? Please talk to us in the comment section for our curiosity and insatiable search for answers that's consuming us. Yes, I'm exaggerating, but seriously, talk to us. Now, what do we have here? A dog? This little fella doing something quite peculiar. Instead of the regular dog sitting, it's sitting upright on its butt, and its front legs look surprisingly buff, like it's been hit in the doggy gym or something. Now, that's not your usual canine pose. Some folks are tossing around this idea that it might be a skinwalker. Yeah, a skinwalker. One of those mythical creatures from folklore. But hold on, before we dive into the world of the supernatural, let's consider that dogs can be pretty quirky. Maybe this furry friend is just showing off its unique sitting style. Who knows? Now that's a fiery mystery lighting up the skies over Kenya. A UFO resembling a flaming plasma ball is captured in the night sky. The phenomenon looks like something from World War II. As the story circulates, opinions vary. Some speculate it might be a hologram, others dismiss it as a potential fake, and a few suggest it could be part of an aeroplane performance. What's your take on this enigmatic display in the Kenyan skies? Is it a holographic phenomenon, a crafted fabrication, or perhaps something more conventional like an aeroplane show? So, let's delve into this rather intriguing footage that's been making its way through the grapevine. Alongside the ongoing chatter about unidentified flying objects, this footage pops up. In the footage, a night vision video captures the scene in the Middle East, and lo and behold, there's a giant in the frame standing next to a military tank. This humanoid silhouette is not just your average tall person, it's towering over the tank. Now, here's where it gets even more peculiar. The creature, or giant, or whatever we want to call it, doesn't just fade into the shadows or dash off into the night. No, it straight up vanishes into the ground. What in the world could this giant be? Is it a creature of myth and legend, a sentinel from another realm, or perhaps something more down to earth with a touch of military mystique? Some are convinced it's a genuine supernatural encounter, while others suggest it could be a creative play of shadows and perspective. Speaking of wild predators, take a look at this majestic and beautiful wild cat. Do you know what species of cat it is? Do you have an idea of what it's doing in the footage? Tell us in the comment section and add one rare fact about the creature. Start your comment with bonus footage so we easily identify it. The most accurate description with the rarest fact will win a feature in our next video. All the best.
Do you see that? Can you see how the creature stares directly and eerily at the camera? It's almost as though it knew it was being watched and wanted to let whoever on the camera to be aware of this fact. But you have got to wonder, is that really a gorilla or are we dealing with a cryptid like a Bigfoot? Don't get me wrong, but when you take a closer look at the image, you'll realize that whatever it is, it's walking on its two feet, not necessarily on its knuckles like a gorilla would. I don't know about you, but if I owned this trail camera, I'd watch my back or avoid that part of the woods altogether. Now back to the classic tale of strange lights in the night sky, this time above a club in Las Vegas back in 2022. The lights are positioned behind the clouds, and the arrangement of the lights indicated that it was coming from a craft. But looking at the shape, this craft was most definitely not human-made. So what could it be? Is it a visitor from another realm, a manifestation of extraterrestrial presence, or perhaps a secret military experiment that defies our earthly expectations? Some are convinced it's a bona fide UFO, while others might entertain the possibility of more down-to-earth explanations. So what's your take on this luminous spectacle? Do you think it was a craft from beyond our earthly borders, or could there be a more down-to-earth explanation for these lights dancing behind the clouds? Share your thoughts. And just a quick reminder before our next clip comes, if you still haven't liked, commented, or subscribed, could you do so right now? You wouldn't want me to send a Bigfoot after you, huh? There have been talks of giants existing. There have also been talks of dwarfs. And then there are some cultures that believe in little people. Not dwarfs, but humanoid miniature people. In this footage, we see this little person crossing a deserted road. This creature looks to be in a hoodie and very skinny. As our petite companion travels down the road, pay attention to the short bars on the other side. This creature is remarkably smaller in comparison. However, there's a significant question looming. Could this be a genuine footage of little people? As much as you might want to buy into the idea that it's real, there's this lingering suspicion that it might be a bad CGI. The whole scene appears a bit too surreal, leaving us in that awkward space between wanting to believe in the extraordinary. Next, we have this rev footage from the wild. I mean, just have a look. That's a mama moose and its baby calf. If you know anything about the wild, you know night times are such dangerous times and danger soon arrives from the right part of the frame. It moves quickly and goes after the calf. Mama moose notices the shift in the atmosphere and went into a defensive stance, but even that was not enough to protect her young one. In an attempt to knock out the predator, she knocks out her young and the wolves try to capitalize on it. She doesn't give up, however, and stands over her calf, kicking frantically. I can imagine what fear it felt knowing how helpless they were. As much as I'd love to tell you that they overcame and escaped the wolves, the truth is we don't know if they did. The whole thing ended off of camera, but knowing how relentless and persistent wolves can be, I don't think it ended well. Still on Bigfoot, take a look at that. Looks like a Bigfoot, does it not? This image was apparently captured by a trail camera set up in the woods, and the uploader of the image believes he hit the paranormal mother load. He believes he has finally captured the highest resolution of Bigfoot images to ever be caught on a trail camera. Taking a look at that image, we don't dispute that that looks like the back of a primate that's capable of standing on its two feet. It actually reminds me of the old Kong movies. Although the picture is very detailed with the creature's fur at Al, when you take a closer look at the edge of its fur that ties into the main image, it's unnaturally blurry, especially on the left side of its body. This makes me doubt the authenticity of the image, and I suspect that it might have been created using AI, but perhaps that's just me. What do you think? This is why I don't mess with dolls. They can be quite unnerving. 
So someone decided to check a doll's heartbeat, and surprise, surprise, it registered a heartbeat. Now I'm with you on this, it's a bit weird and raises a bunch of questions. How in the world is a doll showing signs of life? It's like a plot straight out of a Chucky movie, right? Dolls coming to life displaying vital signs, it's the stuff of nightmares. But let's dial it back a bit. Maybe there's a logical explanation, like some tech gadgetry, or a glitch in the heartbeat detecting device. Or who knows, maybe Chucky does have cousins out there. What are your thoughts on this bizarre doll situation? Talk of an unusual intruder. In this footage, we can see an apartment complex captured, but it's missing a door. Not exactly an ideal security setup. In a matter of seconds, a surprise visitor strolls in, and it's none other than a mountain lion. Yeah, you heard that right. The camera captures the big cat casually exploring the complex, disappearing from view at times. To add a twist, two unsuspecting individuals walk into the complex, blissfully unaware of the wild company they've got. Thankfully, they head into their room before the mountain lion decides to make an appearance and starts lurking near the entrance. Now, while the mountain lion may not be as hefty as their African cousins, there's still wild creatures and encounters with them can pose risks to humans. In the interest of safety, it might be a good idea for the property owner to address the missing door situation. What are your thoughts on this wild intrusion? To kick off today's compilation, we visit Canock Chase, where there was an entire section of the woods dedicated to dolls which hang on trees. Yes, the footage you are seeing is no movie set or scene, it's an actual place somewhere in Canock Chase. How the dolls got there, no one knows exactly. According to reports, the dolls showed up one day displayed in an eerie fashion. Some time later, a Ouija board was spotted in the same place with no explanation. Naturally, all who saw it were scared and the news spread of the unnatural dolls spreading like wildfire. It was even uploaded online, which led to many speculations. Some believed the woodland area had been cursed Others believe a cult was responsible, and many others thought the place had been used for a ritual. After a year, no one went near the dolls for fear of dropping dead or worse. The room was escalated and became so unbearable that a police officer got rid of all the dolls and Ouija board one day. That was the last anyone heard of them. But we can't help but wonder, did the police meddle with the supernatural? And is he fine? I guess we may never know. Next, we have footage we haven't had in a while on this channel, and by that, I mean footage of a child lost in the forest. Take a look. As you can see, there's a young child roaming the forest at night. The uploader of the footage insists that there are no settlements in this part of the wood where the camera that captured this was located. Due to this fact, he finds it hard to believe this footage exists and thinks we're dealing with a ghost or spirit. But are we now? It's hard to say, but I'm having one of those hunches that this footage isn't real. Although there's not much to go within the footage, if this image was captured in the woods, there should definitely be more foliage than we're seeing in the capture. Don't get me wrong, but it looks like this was captured in the city, or at least a developed area. I suspect that the pole to the boy's right might not necessarily be a tree or a shrub, but possibly a utility pole in a residential area. A part of me just feels like someone is looking for their five minutes of fame. But what do you think? Next, we have a puzzling discovery after a snowstorm. It looks like the hand of someone stuck in the ice-cold river. It's natural for anyone who saw this to assume someone was drowning in an attempt to help. As the person behind the camera investigated and gently poked at the glove, things took a rather unexpected turn. 
It turns out that wasn't a hand at all. No, it looked like a glove that appeared to have deflated once taken out of the water. This left everyone scratching their heads in confusion. Now, isn't that strange? What could have caused this glove to mimic a hand emerging from the icy water only to deflate? Was it paranormal related, or is there just a simple explanation to it? Now, here's a story that takes a turn into the unexpected. A woman was going about her business when suddenly she looks up to the sky and spots a figure walking on the clouds. It's faint, so you may have to squint to see it. If you still don't see it, perhaps I may not be alone. Now, the intriguing part is the woman's take on it. While we can't gauge her level of religious inclination, she seems to lean toward the belief that the person in the clouds could be none other than Jesus. Quite a thought-provoking perspective, wouldn't you say? So here's the million-dollar question. What's your take on this celestial stroll? Do you think it's just a strange occurrence, or could there be something more divine at play? I'm afraid to ask, but did you see anyone at all? Tell us in the comment section. Remember the apparent peeping Bigfoot clip from earlier? Well, here's another one, only instead of hearing the people describe what happened, we actually see it happening. Have a look. Remarkable, isn't it? Based on the quality of the footage, however, it's hard to tell what we're dealing with. Some have suggested it could be a bear, but others in the paranormal community believe that we're actually dealing with a Bigfoot here. If you ask me, however, I have reservations. First of all, the creature's eyes are beady and small, which makes me doubt it's a Bigfoot. Secondly, I don't think this footage looks like the ones taken by trail cameras unless it's a normal camera. But if it is, how did their hands not shake while they recorded and why didn't the creature take off? So many unanswered questions and red flags. Forgive me for playing the devil's advocate, but what do you think? Do you think the footage is real or do you have reservations too? Tell us in the comments section. Next, we have this very unusual trail cam capture of deer. Wondering what makes this capture unusual? Take a good look at the deer in the image. Do you see those claw marks? They look like they were inflicted by something really big and dangerous. But what could have done that? The truth is, no one knows, not even the one who uploaded the image online. He believes it could be a cougar or a bear, but I haven't known these creatures to let their prey go, especially once they'd captured it, unless by some stroke of luck. So tell us, what do you think happened to this deer? Would love to know your thoughts. Here we go again, a UFO sighting, but this time with a sighting that's hard to miss. The craft in question fits the classic saucer-shaped mold zipping through the sky at an astonishing speed. Now isn't that a scene straight out of a sci-fi movie? The stereotypical saucer craft cruises through the atmosphere, leaving us all in awe and wonder. It's the kind of sighting that sparks conversations and sparks the imagination. Now, let's entertain the possibilities. UFO sightings have fascinated and perplexed observers for decades. Some argue that these sightings could be secret military aircraft, while others embrace the idea that these craft might be of extraterrestrial origin. But the mystery continues, because we never know what these crafts are. Next, we have another weird dog. A man heads out to the woods with his dog for a game of fetch. Everything seemed ordinary, until the moment he picks up the toy ready to toss it to his furry companion. That's when he notices something odd. The dog's face has this peculiar expression, almost human-like. Could it be that the pup just pulled off a bizarre facial expression? There are some who don't think so and are throwing around the idea of a skinwalker. What do you think?
So there's this video, right? I don't know if this is real or not. A cat owner is just chilling, giving their feline friend some good old pets. Nothing out of the ordinary, you'd think. But then, out of the blue, the cat unleashes this weird sound that, I kid you not, sounds like it's uttering the phrase, Die, you will die. Now, that's not your everyday cat behavior, right? I mean, it's a bit on the creepy side, no denying that. If I found myself in a situation like that, I guess I'd be kind of taken aback. Like, what's going on with the cat? Cats can be weirdly expressive, and their vocal range is like cryptic language we're still deciphering. If, however, you notice any odd behavior like this, maybe it's time for a visit to the vet. You know, just to rule out any otherworldly influence or health issues. Better safe than sorry, right? FYI, I don't think it's possessed, but it comes close, don't you think? Die, you will die. Some researchers set up a deer carcass wired to electrocute anyone or anything that touched it. They hanged it in the woods and left it here to see what happened. A curious bear came by and saw the free food unknown to it that there was electricity on the meat. As it attempted to snatch the meat, it got electrocuted. The bear was so taken aback by the sting from the electric shock that it ran off immediately. However, later that evening, the bear returned to take the meat, but still it got electrocuted, but this time it didn't run away. It stayed and started to sniff around. It went to check out the pole that the electric wires were connected to the source of power, a battery. While touching and sniffing around, it managed to switch off the power, making the meat electric-free. It then went back again to check if the meat was still electrified, and when it noticed the change, it pulled down the deer carcass and grabbed his free meal. Such a clever and persistent creature, wouldn't you agree? And for our final footage, we've got a big one, literally. Someone found this massive snake coiled up in the tree while walking through the woods. I'm talking colossal, legendary serpent vibes. Now, when it comes to big snakes, think pythons or anacondas, the real giants of the snake world. These creatures are known for their impressive size and tree-climbing skills, often hanging out in tropical or subtropical regions, particularly in lush forests. But let's be real, encountering a snake of this magnitude is not your average stroll in the park. But if you ever do, safety first. Keep a good distance, because large snakes, even though fascinating, can potentially be on the dangerous side. This one looks like it could practically swallow a whole person in one go. So the next time you're wandering through the woods, keep your eyes peeled for more than just birds and squirrels, and you might just save your life or make an amazing discovery. And with that, we end today's episode. Thank you for staying with us. Before you go, are there popular trail cams you've come across that you think we should absolutely feature on this channel? Please tell us in the comments section. If you personally have odd footage you recorded yourself, you can forward it to us via classifiedcaptures at gmail.com. We'll do the needful analysis and include it in our next episode. We'll also give you credit with it, unless, of course, you want to remain anonymous. We can't wait to receive your clips. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your friends and family. See you in the next one.